At 12.57, the message comes through, a shootout in the city centre. A crack response team from Highway Patrol heads to the address, an apartment block in Kutuzovsky Prospect. Upstairs, they find the body of an intruder shot dead in a bungled burglary. Highway Patrol records every detail of the blood and the corpse. In Russia, violent crime is all pervasive. This is the first call we've gone out with with Highway Patrol, and in a bizarre coincidence, it's in a building next door to our office, the second shootout in a week. Now, while this is one of Russia's greatest problems, it's also become one of Russia's most popular entertainments. Highway Patrol is not an arm of the police, it's one of Russia's top ten television programs. It doesn't just follow police, it shows every gruesome detail of what they see. These are just the mild pictures. Some of it is far too graphic for our program to screen. But this is prime time, even dinner time entertainment. Kids can switch on the telly at 5.30 p.m. to see real life corpses, car smashes and mutilations. No, I don't know for who these scenes look like they are real. Maybe for the foreign viewers they are not real. For our foreign viewers they are not real. They are not real. Highway Patrol is part of the stable of TV6, one of Russia's six national networks. It's a young industry run by young people making new rules. Ivan Demidov hosts the TV6 music program. At 34, he's one of the oldest people working here. He's also the station director. Мы фактически начали открывать велосипеды, потому что у нас не было самого главного. Мы не общались, то есть я до 89 года не видел ни одной западной программы. То есть фильмы-то мы еще видели, условно говоря, а телевизионных опыта коллег, которые весь мир, да, как делать ток-шоу, что такое ток-шоу вообще или какие-то еще передачи. Поэтому многое придумывалось самим, много, ну, на уровне, знаете чего... Брали какие-то журналы, читались о ток-шоу, и мы представляли, как оно должно выглядеть. Ну, в общем, что говорить? Группа Лицей, встречайте! TV6 has now built up a catalog of western-style programs. Ranging from serious crime to serious news to a serious shopping program. Their production standards rival most Western television, but they have a distinctly Russian flavour. One of the most popular programmes is Quality Sign, a pun on the old Soviet quality sign, which usually meant anything but. Anyone prepared to join the queue gets a guaranteed minute of fame. And they can do anything they want, literally. И сейчас мы с каждым годом добираем все то, чего нам не хватало, да, в чем весь западный мир спокойно жил и развивался, а нам не хватало. Поэтому иногда переборы происходят, иногда уж слишком мы да, доходим до каких-то карнавальных усиленных вариантов. Но в принципе вот эта тяга к нормальному, к развлечениям, и телевидение это прежде всего развлечение. But it's not just television's newfound freedom that makes it so daring, it's also competition. Programmers know that if they don't push the boundaries of what's acceptable, someone else will. Highway Patrol was recently challenged by the ultimate in reality television. Perikvat, meaning interception, didn't just record police drama, it created it. 
Contestants were given a car and a camera crew. They then had to outrun the highway patrol in real high-speed chases around Moscow. If they could evade police for 35 minutes, they won the car. Even more surprising than the program itself was the fact that police gave it their full cooperation. Camera crews were also able to travel in patrol cars. The program soared in the ratings, but after a couple of months it was put on hold. By then, it seems, senior police had decided there was a limit to what police should do. But what about television? Здесь главное все-таки есть ответственность не перебрать, не не построить все на на зле что ли, понимая, что может быть и интересно для зрителя посмотреть смертную казнь, но нужно все-таки внутренне телевизионному человеку быть ответственным за за такую работу со зрителем. So, dead bodies are okay, but executions are over the top. It's not the sort of television that some idealists may have hoped for after the end of communism. But with programs like Quality Sign, it is democratic. Mikhail Ilyayev would never have dreamt he could share his private passion with the entire Russian nation. are no longer being fed what the government thought was good for them. Now they're getting anything they want.